Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's JPR, and today we may have just found out what tomorrow's Pokemon Direct is going to reveal. Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon versions. Wow, okay, where do, where do we start? I mean, I'm not going to go into, like, big details in this video because there's not really much of a point. By tomorrow, we're going to know a lot more about these games if they are indeed real. Uh, so if you guys saw me on Twitter this morning, I was really, really skeptical about these games. I was like, because they, at that point, uh, we'd only known that Nintendo of Europe had trademarked the games. And I was thinking, well, you know, sometimes Nintendo files random trademarks just so nobody gets the names, and sometimes they don't mean anything. Uh, like Pokemon Water Blue, Pokemon Gray, Pokemon Delta Emerald... And then uh, Cerebi right here also mentions Pokemon Brown and Pokemon Amethyst, and there's lots of other ones. So Pokemon and Nintendo, they've trademarked a lot of titles that they haven't used before. Uh, what was unique about this case is that they not only trademarked the game, but the logos were there as well. And I've, again, the logos didn't really mean much to me because it's like... Anybody can really make a logo and put it on there. I mean, that's not too hard to do. But then, the real kicker here. The real kicker. I mean, not only does Nintendo of Europe trademark it, but then as the day goes on, all the other regions also trademark the game. So that was kind of a, like, oh, this might be real type thing. And then, the real kicker. The real kicker. They register the domain name. For, like, Pokemon.com slash Sun and Moon. I mean, it only, like, redirects to the main site now. But the point is, they have registered the freaking domain name. And and for me, that's GG. That means, yeah, it's happening. It's pretty much confirmed. Okay, I'm not going to say confirmed because you never know. It could just be, like, one giant prank even though I... I, I don't know. It's, it's weird because Pokemon has never really had... Like, a sloppy moment like this, where something just kind of leaked through. Like, you know, that happens to, like, Smash and other Nintendo things on the directs. But not for Pokemon. I can't remember the last time Pokemon, like, really had big news like this leak through. Like, every time they always reveal a game, it's always a surprise. Like, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, or XY, or Black 2 and White 2, or Black and White. I don't remember anything before that because I wasn't really on top of Pokemon news before Gen 5. But for the last four games at least, it doesn't seem like they're all that sloppy bad. They always manage to maintain the surprise until the moment that it's supposed to be revealed. So, I don't know. It's just really weird to me that this finally leaked out. I mean, I guess times are changing and this information is now more accessible by the public. Uh, so that might be a factor as to why it's getting out. But one of the neat things about this was that a lot of people went back on Shinichi Masuda's Twitter account and discovered that earlier this week he made a post where he just like took a picture of the sky and he was like, it's sunny out, but I can still see the moon. And I was just like, oh my gosh, he was teasing for this whole week. And he has done that before. Shinichi Masuda is, is freaking crafty little devil. I'll tell you that. He will throw out like the vaguest of hints and you don't get Get it until the games are actually like reveal like the week before Pokemon X and Y were revealed he took like a picture of uh, the Eiffel Tower and he was like wow France is so beautiful and you know nobody really understood why until the next week when they revealed X Y and it was the Kalos region with France so it's like kind of like the same thing here where like he takes a picture of the Sun and the moon and then he's like, wow, look at that. It, you know, it, it just looks like a normal post until you actually realize what's going on. So I like that about Shinichi Masuda. It was a pretty fun little thing there. But like I said, I'm not going to go into too much detail about this. I mean, the title kind of implies that it might be a Gen 7 game. But at the same time, people have definitely noted the similarities that Sun and Moon could have to X and Y. For example, uh, like Zygarde Core in the anime, uh, its food is sunlight. And then in the XY post game, you discover Megastones by Moonlight. So there's definitely a connection in the Kalos region with Sun and Moon. So personally, I don't think Gen 6 is over yet, but we'll just have to see.